The next morning, Granddad John's back was aching, so he had to rest. The neighbor, Lucas, came over to help dig up some potatoes. Each plant had lots of potatoes of different sizes clustered around the original seed potato, which was now black and shriveled. Sophie carefully dug up a lovely big carrot with her trowel. Well done, said Lucas. I'm going to dig up some more for lunch, said Sophie. Carrots are tasty. Can I have the carrot tops? asked Lucas. My rabbit loves the stalk and leaves. The asparagus were also big enough to harvest and eat. What a treat. Three asparagus, one carrot top, two carrots, one potato. The days were getting very hot, so the plants were thirsty. Sophie watered the pumpkins, melons, and cucumbers. Fancy a ride in my wheelbarrow taxi, said Granddad John. Let's take a delivery next door to Lucas. Why are the pumpkins and melons on little platforms, asked Sophie, so they don't get wet in the damp earth. It's funny that some vegetables grow under the ground and others above. Root vegetables like carrots and radishes grow underground. Fruits with seeds inside grow above. We often eat them raw in salads, Granddad John explained. So when I eat a tomato or cucumber, I'm eating a kind of fruit? That's right. Two cucumber, five gherkins, two pumpkins, one melon, three courgettes. One night, there was a full moon. Sophie was asleep, so she didn't see the bats swooping above the garden and she didn't see the three filled mice nibbling the vegetables. But the cat saw them. Mmm, delicious, it thought. Dinner! The peppers were ripening in the warm greenhouse, and as they did, they changed color. First green, then yellow, then red. The next morning, Sophie asked, Do plants keep growing at nighttime? No, said Grandpa who was chopping beetroot, but they get stronger overnight, just like you when you're asleep. Can I make beetroot salad for lunch? asked Sophie, with a surprise. One turnip, one beetroot, one bulb of fennel, one pepper. Because it was so hot, Sophie and Granddad John made a bird bath. I'll look after it, said Sophie. The birds loved splashing around in their bath, so it needed a lot of cleaning. Then disaster struck. A swarm of potato beetles, which eat the leaves of the potato plants, invaded the local vegetable gardens. All the neighbors worked together to catch the insects. Later that afternoon, when they had finished clearing the beetles, Lucas came over with a giant two-handled broad fork. Watch, Sophie, he said. This broad fork is much gentler than a normal garden fork. I can use it to break up the earth without disturbing all the helpful creatures that live there. Sophie invited Lucas and little time to a picnic on the lawn. They had radishes, tomato tart, and juicy melon, all from the garden, of course. Oh no, it's starting to rain, shouted Sophie. But Granddad John smiled and sighed happily. Finally, some rain from my thirsty garden. They had to finish their picnic indoors.